What's up YouTube, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a look at the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the Glow colorway. This latest colorway of the 350 V2 model had a surprise drop on Wednesday, May 22nd. They hit yeezysupply.com as well as adidas.ca which is the Canadian website and both sites sold out within minutes. So I grabbed this pair through adidas.ca so that's why I was able to get my hands on these so quickly. For those that missed out though, they are having a wider release this coming Saturday, May 25th. The retail price on this pair was $30 higher than your normal 350 V2 model. So this was $250 US dollars or $330 Canadian dollars. So jumping straight into the sneaker, pretty much there's not too much different about this pair compared to the previous colorways that I've reviewed. The upper of the shoe is still constructed using prime knit, but this time this is done in this very vibrant neon green color. We have your signature thick stitching that's found right down the center of the shoe. And to my surprise, the Prime Knit itself doesn't glow, it just simply has a very loud and very vibrant color. Running down the length of the lateral side of the shoe, here we have the semi-clear netting which exposes the interior of the shoe, which means your sock game still has to be on point when you rock these. On the back heel, we have this nylon pull tab, which is also done in that same green color. As for the laces, so these come with your signature Rope Yeezy laces, and they're done in that same green color. Similar to the Prime Knit, these laces also don't glow. Moving on to the interior of the shoe, so the back ankle collar area, this area is slightly padded, and then running down the back heel, we have the Adidas 3 stripes, and this is done in 3M. Taking out the insoles, we have your standard Yeezy Boost insoles, they're entirely done in this neon green color, and we have Adidas and Yeezy branding on the heel in black. So the upper of these Yeezy Boost 350 V2s sits atop your full length Boost midsole. The boost itself is encased in this semi-translucent rubber carrier, which has a signature rib pattern that runs along the width of the midsole. On the back heel of the shoe, you'll notice that a portion of the bottom heel wraps around and onto the midsole. And similar to other colorways of this model, there's a difference in color from this portion compared to the rest of the midsole. So while the majority of the midsole is consistent with the color of the prime knit, in this case, the back heel is slightly more yellow, which matches the color of the outsole. Speaking about the outsole, so flipping these over to the bottom, so here we have your standard Yeezy Boost 350 V2 outsole. This is done in this yellowish green rubber. We have this exposed boost along the forefoot, along with this triangular cutout on the bottom heel, which shows off the boost that's encased within the midsole. So now for the most important part, the glow. So as I mentioned earlier, the upper, the laces, all that stuff does not glow. So where the shoe actually does glow is the midsole and the outsole. So you'll see I charged up the shoes a little bit by the window, and then turning off all the lights, the glow that they emit is actually quite strong. In terms of sizing, so these fit the same to me as all my other 350 V2 models, so in my case, my feet measures as a true size 10, and I picked these up in a size 10 and a half. I gotta say though, they're nowhere near as snug as the original colorways of the 350 V2. However, I'd still recommend going up a half size from your true size to avoid any potential discomfort and crunching of the toes, as this toe box area is still quite shallow. From a comfort standpoint, so the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 model is still very, very comfortable. The boost encased within the midsole is super thick, and rocking these, they felt very plush and very comfortable on feet. So with all that said, now let me lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. Regardless of how you feel about the Yeezy Boost 350 V2, whether it's dead, whether it's still alive, you can't deny that this colorway is super striking, whether for the good or the bad. For me, it's a little bit loud, but I personally give the nod to this pair over the semi-frozen yellows. This is definitely one of those shoes that you rock with just a white tee and something low key, and I definitely feel this is more of a summer shoe or something you rock during Halloween. So let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about this glow colorway of the Yeezy Boost 350 V2. Did you guys cop a pair during the surprise drop or do you plan on copping a pair this coming Saturday? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on my Instagram at esco8. Check out my Twitter at sean.go and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this early look and I'll catch you guys in the next one.